Hey guys, it's your bestie Tristan, and I'm here with some new tropical scents from Victoria's Secret to celebrate this lovely weather. Today is actually the solar eclipse, and it's going to be happening at its peak in like a few hours. Um, so yeah, I got, I feel like I'm really popping off on YouTube and all that because I just got my first like hater comment. Um, I obviously do a lot of reviews and this is another Victoria's Secret one. There's Bath and Body Works. The comment that I got that was kind of Haiti, in my opinion, just said it was by someone named like, it was called like Russian Fighter and then like a number or something. It was something like that. Maybe Russian Fight, something like that. And it just, it was, I'm guessing uh, probably a certain type of gentleman who just said you were raised by a single mom or maybe single mother. I don't know. It was one of those two. And I thought that was a very weird like comment. Um, I'm not going to let it stop me. Like, it's just kind of what it is. I've like, I'm no stranger to online bullying in my past from like receiving it, not, not doing it. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's like, I'm going to keep going and, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I've never said this because like, I feel like it's a little like overdone, but like and subscribe, or actually, honestly, you don't even have to like, just subscribe. We want more, if, if you want to subscribe, because the thing is, if you're going to subscribe and you don't really like these videos, then I'd rather, you know, you just like not subscribe, then you can just check out a video and not subscribe if you're like, I don't really want to see these videos. But if you do want to see awesome reviews of fun, amazing scents, I'm very seasonal. So you're not going to see any Christmas scents right now. You're going to see those in December. You're not going to see you know, et cetera, et cetera. You're not going to see fall scents, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're only going to be seeing spring and summer, this little summer preview, because I'm just feeling that type of way. We have summer, we have some palm trees. So without further ado, we are going to start the review. Oh my gosh, that rhymed. Um, so today's scent is Island Rush. Oh my gosh, it's Island Rush by Victoria's Secret. This is new, you guys. It only came out a couple weeks ago. So the scent notes are coconut cream melds with Tahitian gardenia and woods chasing sunbeams. Because, you know, Victoria's Secret's a little extra like that. They always do, like, live your fantasy, like, or something, whatever. So um, let's go ahead and smell it. Do, 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 do. I have to like hold it. I need to like lift, I need to have something to lift this up because it's just gonna be a little out of focus. Okay, so do you guys remember a scent called, I think it was Coconut Pineapple last year from Bath and Body Works? I think it was an online only scent. Um, they might've actually had that years prior. So the thing is with this scent, this reminds me of what I think Coconut Pineapple should have been. These notes, I mean, like, that's cool. I smell coconut and pineapple. When I first spray it, it's coconut and pineapple. This smells like a piña colada. It smells beautiful. Like, do I really get floral? Maybe, like, the backing notes to make it, like, a pretty smell. But, like, honestly, what you are going to be smelling... Let's change this a little bit. What you are going to be smelling in this scent is coconut and pineapple. From my very much expertise, like professional opinion <laughs> it's pretty there are some notes it's the, the coconut in here is one you may have smelled before with victoria's secret it's not a 100 percent wow never smelled anything close to this there is some familiarity there it's not bad though it's a good one sometimes you're just kind of like oh dupe or this or that but like this is Yes, there is that backing coconut that I feel like we've smelled before. It's not a bad coconut. I think it's better than most Bath & Body Works coconut scents. It's a really pretty, a little juicy, sweet, but not like extremely sugar, sugar, like um, candy sweet. It smells like a coconut milk pina colada. Sweet coconut milk pina colada, a little bit of, is that jasmine? gardenia so i really really recommend this one you guys um there's someone on youtube who has who did a review of the scent before i got to got a chance to smell it 
And out of this collection, she reviewed two that she liked the best. And I actually agreed. And I thought those were the best in this collection. I can't remember what the other one's name is. It's the pink one. So this is the yellow one and the other one's the pink one. So we've got Island Rush and then the pink one, which I'm going to be reviewing right after this. So which will come out the next day, like tomorrow. So um, they are the best in this collection. However, I don't always agree with this person who reviewed it. Um, she really liked one in the other collection. And I did not like that scent at all. I thought it was not... I, I just did not like that scent. But this scent I love, and I love the pink one I'm about to do next. You guys, it's so tropical-y. This is a great scent for, like, if you're having one of these warmer days, which is what we're having here for April, and you're just kind of, like, feeling your little um, island vibes daydream. And, uh, yeah. It's so good. It is so good. And these go on sale for $6. Don't ever pay full price. I'm sorry, but like for me, if you have the money to pay full price, donate that money to like an animal sanctuary if you were like are kind of loaded. In my opinion, do what you want with your money. I'm not telling you what to do, but that's what I would recommend. I don't, these are great $6 mists. They're great $6 mists. I don't think people should be spending 20. If you're going to be spending 20, then you could buy two for like the price of a, of a like a very high end perfume that's like on sale, which is what I would recommend doing if you had forty dollars instead of buying two that you could get for twelve bucks. So it's fun because a lot of people will do things like they'll stock up on scents when there's a sale and then they'll like exchange them when the new ones come out. I don't think that's ethical personally. Everyone's got to do what they got to do and like how they live. I don't judge the people. I don't think that practice is ethical though. So you know what? When there's new scents, it's like, guess what? It's time for us all to go out, smell the new scents, and then we wait until they're on sale. That's just my opinion. If there's one that you're like literally, Tristan, I have all the feels for this one new scent, then it's like, then go and get that scent if you really want to pay the $20, but I don't recommend it. So, um, you know, I'm a realist. I'm, I'm very real and yeah. Oh my gosh. If Bath and Body Works Coconut Pineapple last year was anything like this, I would have kept it. I had like a bad reaction to it where I was like, oh, that Bath and Body Works Coconut Pineapple, but this is great. I don't know why there's not pineapple notes in here. Maybe there is because Victoria's Secret's like, they're special in a way where they'll like list some, on, even on the bottle sometimes there'll be like two notes here. And then on the back for the review thing, it'll be completely different notes. And then like online, it'll be like this scent, like peony and amber or something like that. But then in like the description will be like three completely different scents. They're a little confusing. They're a little all over the place sometimes. We still love them um, as much as we can love a corporation, like a mega corporation. Um, but uh, yeah, it's so special. Yay, it's so happy. Go and smell it, see if you like it and let me know if you, if you like it. So this has been a long video. I'm gonna start the next video. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.